In Bielsa, the hashtag end bad governance protests saw a significant turnout of demonstrators. The event was marked by both protesters and counter-protesters. While the Take It Back movement rallied against hunger and the high cost of living, pro-Tinibu protesters preferred dialogue expressing concerns that the protest might be hijacked. ADBN correspondent Achunonu Temple tells us more. The Take It Back movement protesters first gathered at the Tombia roundabout in Yenegua, Bayasa State, and later moved through the Mefordo Kilo Road in Yenegua. They brandished large placards with bold inscriptions like End Hunger, Return Fuel Subsidy, and Reduce High Cost of Food Prices. As the protesters marched to the government house to drop their message, they were blocked by hundreds of unknown youths at Erepa Junction. Um, and I was one of the protesters trying to exercise my civil rights. But on the, uh, along the line and along the way, some group of set of boys came out and shot guns and threw, threw bottles at us. So for me, this, this is a, a violation of our civil rights. We need to call our leaders. They have to give us accountability. They have to give us a record of what they are doing. Let us know the policy. What is, what is going on? Let us know. Let us make a review of what you have done so far so that we know if you are heading to somewhere. Because the hunger is much. A few minutes later, the pro tinibu protesters surfaced. Their argument was that unscrupulous element may hijack it to cause violence and destruction that undermines the collective interests of all. Excellency Doedri, I have stated that there should be no protest in the state capital. And they refuse. So we we'll stand against the protest because our number one one has stated that there is no protest in the state capital. So I mobilize my youth to stop them, for them not to protest. It seems there is problem in the state. Why there is no problem? As the protesters vow to continue their protest until their demands are met, some stakeholders are appealing to Nigerians to apply dialogue. The Joint Council is not against a protest. But because we are people with peculiar needs in our region, we would have expected the designers of this protest to consult widely and incorporate the challenges of our region as part of their demands. But this does not rule out the fact that there's too much hardship in the land. Governments must do something to cushion the effect of these ash realities Nigerians are appearing today. The protest is scheduled for 10 days, but many hope that the protesters will scale down on the number of days and employ dialogue. At Chinono Temple,